Okay, so now I have another example. Example two, it it's asks, prove that the following argument is valid. All right, so what is the argument? Uh, I have three premises, S implies not Q, P implies S, and not not P. Therefore, not Q. All right, um, you can prove this again. You can show the validity of this argument by using the truth table, but let's not do it. Let's use the direct proof. Uh, let's use those three inference rules that we just learned. So, uh, as standard, I first write down the, the three premises, and I assume that they're true, and I want to show that the conclusion, which is not Q, is, must be true. All right, so how can I derive this conclusion? Well, start with the simplest one. I, I think the double negation is the simplest rule. So not not P is equivalent to saying P. All right, so this is double negation of the argument three. So P is true. Well, what else? Look at the premise number two. P implies S. I know P is true, so therefore Q must be true. Uh, I'm sorry, here it is S. So therefore, P implies S is true. P is true, therefore S must be true. And this is because of the modus ponens of the arguments two and four. So now I have arguments S implies not Q true, P implies S true, not not P is true. I already used the last two. I can use them again if I need to. But I have two other premises now, um, interim premises kind of, P and S, they're also true. Okay, uh, what I want to get is not Q. How can I do that? Well, look at premise number one. And, uh, and, and, and then this conclusion phi. So S implies not Q, S. So I can use the modus ponens again. Um, and so because S implies not Q, correct, true. S is true, therefore not Q must be true. And this is thanks to modus ponens of the arguments one and five. All right, so given those premises are true, well then this conclusion not Q must be true as well. And hence, this is the direct proof of this argument.